Welcome, foolish mortals, to another episode of the Hitchhiking Host Show. I am your host, your ghost host, <laughs> West Troop, and I am back. <laughs> I took a little bit of time off because I've been super busy. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying my weekly uh, ride-through videos, basically my vacation videos from this past fall. I've been putting one up a week. I'm going to continue to do that every week, uh, maybe even two a week as I get closer to my next vacation. This coming fall, uh, I'm going to be one of those crazy people at Star Wars land a few weeks after it opens. <laughs> so, yeah, pray for me, wish me luck, whatever. Um, so, I am back. I promise I will be back once a week with a show talking about what went down at the Disney parks, what we like to call our trending topic show. And, uh, yeah, so definitely look out for that every week once again. Back into the swing of things. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's see what happened down at Walt Disney World this week with some trending topics. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start our journey around the world here over at the Magic Kingdom. And ladies and gentlemen, this week, cast members and others working to bring the Tron attraction to life at the Magic Kingdom celebrated a major milestone as they signed their names on one of the first steel support columns. The Tron attraction, currently being constructed in Tomorrowland, is based on the successful attraction Tron Light Cycle Power Run now at Shanghai Disneyland and is set to open at the Magic Kingdom in time for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. So we still got a couple years for that. Um, I have an episode actually about the Tron Light Cycle Power Run from a couple years ago uh, when it opened over at Shanghai Disneyland and I have all my thoughts in there. Um, I mean, I, from what I remember... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while since I've seen a video of it, but uh, I really thought it was a really cool ride. Uh, from what I could tell from YouTube videos, I obviously didn't go to Shanghai to check it out. But uh, from what I can see, it looks like a really cool ride. And you know, I will definitely try to ride it. <laughs> well, hopefully, it's pretty soon after it opens. Uh, Try to get a fast pass for that baby. So <laughs> I definitely will ride it when I get the chance. And uh, definitely excited to check that out when it comes to Magic Kingdom in a few years. So, uh, I, of course, more updates will be uh, coming on the Tron attraction. And, uh, you know, I'll have it here for you. Now we're going to park hop over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, where you might have heard there's a couple small things coming to Hollywood Studios. So, <laughs> this week, on, uh, on March 19th, Disney's Hollywood Studios will change the names of its various parking lots to feature characters that meet and greet with guests at this park. The new parking selections will be named Jesse, Buzz, Mickey, Minnie, BB-8, and Olaf. In addition, there will be two new bus drop-off loops added at the entrance of the park. So, if you haven't been to the Disney's Hollywood Studios parking lot in a while, you, you might not know that it's a terrible mess. <laughs> and uh, because of the construction going on with the uh, Skyliner... Uh, stuff, and it's just, it's crazy. Uh, or at least it was when I was there last. Uh, it's been, obviously been getting getting better. Uh, so, but it was a long, long walk to the bus stop. Uh, so, yeah, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Glad to see that things are changing, and... You know, there's a lot of people that are having a fit over them changing the old uh, bus stop signs. And it's just like, really, people? 
<laughs> I get, I get there's certain things that change that people might not be happy about, but uh, you know, who knew parking signs would be one? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, they have changed deal with it and speaking of <laughs> disney's hollywood studios uh they will be opening a new cars attraction later this month will which will immerse guests into the world of cars and bring them face to face with legend lightning mcqueen and though there's only a few days to wait until the new attraction opens on march 31st disney has released a new sneak peek video at this upcoming show featuring john ratzenberg who will reprise his role as the voice of mac so I haven't seen a whole lot about this new attraction that's coming. It's not exactly Cars Land over at Disney's California Adventure, which I love. Uh, but they're trying to bring their little spin to it to Walt Disney World. Uh, who knows if this is going to be any good or not. <laughs> I'm sort of like in the in the middle here for this one. I'm like, I'll wait and see what it looks like on YouTube. I'll see it in person next on my next trip. But uh, just another new thing opening at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This one definitely not one of the the, the big headliners. Uh, although who knows? Maybe it'll be really cool. Uh, I'll be looking forward to checking this one out when it when it uh, debuts on March 31st. And of course, I'll tell you my thoughts um, on what the attraction is like. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, the new Cars attraction will be opening on March 31st. Now we're gonna park hop over to Disney's Animal Kingdom because earlier this year, a new Mazai giraffe named Jabari, was born at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and now, since he's turned two months old, he has officially joined the giraffe herd at Kilimanjaro Safaris. Yeah! Jabari, which means brave one, is Swahili and is described as a bold, curious, and courageous calf. And he can now be seen with his mother at the Kilimanjaro Safaris attraction. And I love the Kilimanjaro Safaris. Uh, I will definitely be taking a look out for Jabari on my next safari. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, now that the warm weather is here, and spring is here, actually now, uh, bus, Disney bus transportation will begin providing direct transportation service to Disney's Blizzard Beach and Disney's Typhoon Lagoon starting this coming weekend. Each resort will have a designated bus stop at the front of each water park. Direct transportation will still not be provided between water parks and theme parks, but guests can easily transfer at any resort to a water park bus. So if you're looking to take a cool dip at Blizzard Beach or Typhoon Lagoon, definitely get ready, because the buses will be coming. And now we're going to hop over to Disney Springs. Because after nearly two years in development and construction, Jaleo, the newest restaurant created by Jose Andres, is finally open. The upscale dining location will feature an extensive menu of tapas, reflecting the rich regional diversity of traditional and contemporary Spanish cuisine, as well as sangrias and a premier selection of Spanish wines. In addition, a quick service window will be available downstairs at the location and will serve Spanish sandwiches or bocadas, both hot and cold, and as well as a gazpacho and salads to go. So this sounds pretty interesting. When I saw upscale dining, I thought, eh, I'll probably never eat there. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't exactly go to the upscale dining uh, places at Disney Springs. But I saw the quick service window there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a possibility. Maybe I will try some of those Spanish sandwiches. I would try a, a hot one. Uh, so... You know, if you're interested in checking out a new restaurant at Disney Springs when you go, because they can be very crowded at night, you might want to check out Jaleo. And speaking of restaurants, 
The Whispering Canyon Cafe over at Disney's Wilderness Lodge has updated their menu with a number of new items, including a number of new skillets for lunch and dinner, such as the signature lunch skillet featuring maple chipotle barbecue slow smorked smoked smoked slow smoked there we go pork ribs barbecue pulled pork and citrus herb or try the traditional dinner skillet with oak smoked mustard barbecue beef brisket maple chipotle barbecue pork ribs slow smoked pulled pork and citrus herb chicken mm, sounds good you can also pig out with the pig dinner skillet with heaping helpings of braised pork belly maple chipotle barbecue pork ribs some more of that slow smoked pulled pork and mustard barbecue piggy wings Oh, if they like the piggy wings I had at the Food and Wine Festival, then we're talking. Both of these particular skillets come with Western-style sausage as well. There's also a land and sea dinner skillet and a vegan dinner skillet. In addition, each one of these all-you-care-to-enjoy skillets comes with a different assortment of sides that may include coleslaw, green beans, buttered corn, oven-roasted carrots, charred peppers, barbecue cauliflower, Yukon mashed potatoes, or roasted potatoes, and of course, a freshly baked cornbread served with delicious honey butter with every dinner skillet. And also, breakfast skillets will also be available starting on March 26th. So there's gonna be a lot of skillets coming to the Whispering Canyon Cafe. I do enjoy the uh, Whispering Canyon Cafe. I've, e I've eaten there before. So if you're hankering for some skillets, you would definitely know the place to find them. All right, well, that's this week's show. I'll be back next week, and we'll see what went down at Walt Disney World. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube, youtube.com slash hitshowshow. Follow the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash hitshowshow. Also, check out the Twitter at Hitcho Show. And if you want to listen to the show or you are listening to the show, you can do so over on Podbean, hitchoshow.podbean.com, or search on iTunes under West Troop or the Hitchhiking Host Show. Until next time, don't forget to. For the next episode, see ya.